Hey guys, Rick Kurt here, and today we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be opening another Gundam kit box. This guy looks pretty cool. He looks like a the kind of reminds me of the Black Musician from Yu-Gi-Oh. Frame. He has some pretty cool weapons. I'm really excited to see and get into. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you guys these, but here's the other guys that you can get from this series. Pretty uh awesome. Got all of the stuff, like usual, the endoskeleton, the weapons, the armor, and the non-movable ex endoskeleton, not exoskeleton, because it's just in the body. Just can't see it from the outside. Instead of saying armor, you could say exoskeleton, but it's not really the same because your body has to make it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so yeah, I am going to get all the parts out and then show you. There's his head. Uh, right back. So guys, uh, it comes out with the uh, the box like this, but this is what the armor goes on to. It's like a non-bendable stand. Um, I can put all the rest of the pieces on because you have the other endoskeleton, which... Ow, oh, that hurt a lot. Hold up. Like I was saying, you have the old, uh, like this new, like, endoskeleton piece that moves. So you have to take all the armor from this and put it onto here. And, um, then, you know, you get the figure, uh, pretty neat looking head. But I'll get it, all this armor, put onto this. Um, and see you guys soon. So guys, here is the finished pro product. And I would say this is one of the coolest looking and, like, accessory... Uh, type of uh, Gundam I have. He is just amazing. He also reminds me of the Psycho Killer uh, Gundam, uh, which is also really cool art style and everything. Anyways, but uh, so um, but there's always a thing where not everything can be perfect, and he is very loose. I mean, very. Like I mean, he can still stand and strike a lot of poses, but also his weapons are also very heavy, and it doesn't make it any better. Uh, so I will definitely be using a stand for him. Just all of his joints are just really off and on. Like, this joint is okay, but, like, that's, like, taking any, like, nothing. Like, what? And then his hip just... It's just so loose. Like, look. It, it bumps his back. It's just really bad uh, articulation with the ball joints. Uh, there's a way you can fix that, but uh, it's not gonna fall out, it's just very annoyingly loose. Uh, but anyways, his weapons are really cool, because you get two modes for this. You can either have it in this open form, or a closed form. So it's like a grappling hook, it attaches to his arm, right there. And you have like this dart shooter slash shield, which looks amazing, and I think you, yeah, you can take the darts out. And, and, and it's easy, you just slip this little thing in his hand, and then his, uh other part of his arm just plugs into it just like this other grappling hook which, which grappling hook which I will take out and I will take out the shield gotta unplug it no. it's annoyingly hard you gotta slide his hand out the hole before you take it out uh, so here, here he is and his articulation uh, he has a ball joint at his head Kind of stiff though, which is weird. And then the shoulder pads are really interesting because they just they have a little thing and they clip on to that little line right there. But they don't stay on that well, so that was an interesting move. And uh, underneath the shoulder pads, these little things right here, they fall out. They have really like loose and fall out way too easily, which is very interesting. Uh, they made a lot of weird choices when making this guy. Anyways, you got a hinge joint right here, kind of ball joint thing. It's a swivel at the top of the arm, a elbow joint, and a ball joint for the wrist. You have a waist swivel, which is way too loose. You have a, which, well, it's a ball joint, which can also make it crunch. Uh, hinge joints on these little side flaps. Also a hinge joint up here. No ball joints. I don't know how it can get better than the last guy, but then just look at his leg. It's just like why. Uh, and then you got you can uh, they can spread that far. It could also go forward that far, back that far. Not insane. Uh, I think a double knee joint, 
and a baldrin at the ankle, which that peg also might fall a little bit too easily. So, weirdly, this guy is just weirdly way too loose for my liking, so that is really annoying. And these shoulder pads, there's, there's no excuse for those, so I might have to super glue some of those and just kind of keep these some of these parts in. I do not know. I kind of know how to fix this, like, weird, way too loose part. And maybe I can fix that somehow, but I'll just do it whenever I'm bored or something. But overall, I'll give this figure a 7 out of 10 because it's just so loose, but that's my manufacturing, manufacturing problem. It's probably only just for mine, although this thing was kind of a dumb idea for the shoulder pads. But it comes with some great weapons, which kind of make up for some of the dumb ideas. Um, and it comes with a stand, which then again also comes uh, makes up for some of its dumb ideas. Uh, but some, uh, all Gundams really come with the stand, except for, like, some of the big model ones, like him. And then I compare, I'll compare them. He's also, uh, I didn't realize, he's also a really small Gundam. <laughs> like, I didn't even realize that. He's more average size to this. But yeah. Uh, 7 out of 10, pretty good. Go check this out. Pretty good figure. Bye, guys.